Well, welcome back to the program. Well, our next guest has lived an extraordinary life from an Olympic gold medalist to a reality TV star, father and stepfather to 10 kids. And now a champion for transgender people everywhere. She's one of the most famous and celebrated women in the world. And while it may not be easy to get past the things you always don't understand, I want to prove that it is absolutely possible. At the age of 65, American sporting hero Bruce Jenner, who became known to global audiences as the quiet patriarch on Keeping Up with the Kardashians, made the brave decision to live as Caitlyn. Are you a woman? Um, yes, for all intents and purposes, I am a woman. That female side is part of me. That's who I am. Now, Caitlin is opening up like never before in a candid memoir detailing the secrets of her life. And we're absolutely thrilled to say Caitlin Jenner joins us now live from Los Angeles. Round of applause for Caitlin, everyone. Nice to see you. Yay! Yay, 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 yay. yay. <laughs> There's a lot to get through. Um, I want to go back to when you first shot to fame, if you don't mind. You became known as the world's greatest athlete after winning gold in the decathlon at the 76 Olympics. I wonder how much pressure was there on you to live up to that all-American sporting jock image? Oh, boy. You know, uh, when you suffer from gender identity, it's, uh, you get it at a very young age. I mean, I can, my entire life, <clears throat> I was always dealing with this issue. Right after the games, the next day after the games, uh, I remember going into the bathroom, um, putting on the medal, it was on the counter, not a stitch of clothes on, looking into the mirror and saying to myself, oh my God, I'm, it's like scared me. Did I build this image up, this masculine image of, of Bruce Jenner that became so big that am I stuck with him for the rest of my life? Mm. Is this is what my life is going to be, kind of playing this character, Bruce Jenner? So it was a little scary in a lot of ways, you know, uh, but I'm very also very proud of those days. Um, it was um, it's just all part of uh, who I am. Mm. Uh, in your memoir, Caitlin, you reveal that there was a period of time in the 80s after you'd won that gold medal mm -hmm. where you didn't leave your house for six years and that Kris Jenner or Kris Kardashian, as she was then known, actually mm -hmm. saved you. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, I mean, I went through um, from 1984 to 1990, I was just struggling. Um, I was in therapy. I got on hormones. I was having electrolysis done. You name it. It's all in the book. It was a terrible time in my life, really tough. Uh, but then, because I thought I was going to transition before I was 40, I'm not going to be old and do this. I'm going to do it when I'm younger. Got to 39, couldn't go forward. Just couldn't do it. And in my case, I look at it, it just wasn't time. About six months later, thinking I should get back into life, I met Chris. And in so many ways, she did save my life. Uh, I was going down, uh, at that time, uh, a very difficult road, and she kind of brought me back. She brought more kids into my family, so I went from four to eight kids with four stepchildren. Uh, Work-wise, she brought me back and, uh, and she kind of restored my faith in myself for a long, 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 long time. And we had 23 good years together, yeah. You don't do things easy. Uh, they're what? You don't do things easy. No. Um, everything in my life has always been a struggle. To be mm. honest with you, the easiest and happiest part of my life is today. Mm. Um, it's just getting up and being yourself. Mm. I don't have any more secrets. Um, they're all out either in the book or been in public. Um, and that's a wonderful place in life to get. And that's what I try to, the book is not what you call a self-help book. The book is about my journey, about my struggles, about all the things I went through, about raising my family, the games, all these issues I had in my life. To finally get to the point in life where I can live my life authentically and free with no secrets. And that's tough because everybody has their stuff. Mm. You, everybody has things in life they have to deal with. You, you say also in the book, Chris, that um, you, you talk about that point that you got to, you met Chris. You went on to have two children together, but Chris apparently knew about your gender struggles from the beginning. Is that right? Yeah, I mean, she knew. I'm, I am sure because, see, I'd gone through six years of hell 
Um, and we certainly talked about it. I had been on hormones for four and a half years. You kind of know something's going on there. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> and so I was open with her. Now, did I downplay it at the beginning? Yes, because I was trying to, trying to come back. Was I in love with her? Absolutely. Um, but she was certainly aware of the things that I was dealing with in life. And even after 23 years of marriage, um, when we finally kind of went our separate directions, that it was very easy and mutual, um, I, I didn't leave to go transition. I didn't, I didn't think I'd ever be able to do that. Um, we just weren't getting along, and we just thought we'd be better, um, you know, if we were living apart. And so we did. We saw on your reality show um, that, that Kim Kardashian was very supportive of the journey um, that you have been on, um, even helping you sort out some wardrobe stuff when you first transitioned. But she recently appeared on The Ellen Show and, and voiced her concerns about the book. Let's have a look at that. I just feel like it's unfair. Things aren't truthful. That Caitlyn is not being honest. No, not, not with certain things about my mom. Well, I'll, I'll still always have a major love for her, for who she was in my life. So, Caitlin, obviously any marriage breakup is difficult, but what's your response to those comments? Um, I love Kim. I think she's a wonderful person. We have a very good relationship. Um, see, if anybody did watch that show for the last, what's it been, 10 or 11 years now, um, they always saw me in the background because we, uh, I have a bunch of very strong women in my life. And my opinion in the show is like zero. It's everybody else's opinion. This book is my book about my opinions in life and my opinions on uh, issues and things that had happened with me and my family. And anytime I express my opinion, um, you know, with my family, there's, there's, um, there's always, mm. always challenges in doing that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm proud of what's in there. Um, it's extraordinarily honest, the book. Mm. And, uh, yeah, I even say at the beginning of the book, you know, there, there are different opinions here, but this is, this is my story, so, not theirs. So, so she has come out saying that on, on Ellen. Have you spoken to her or has she spoken to you about what she might perceive as being the lies or, or, or the untruths in the, in the book? Uh, well, to be honest with you, um, I really haven't talked to her in a long time. I've kind of let everything calm yeah. down. Uh, and so, yeah, I kind of stay, you know, I keep my distance and... I'm out right now trying to make a difference in the world. Yeah. Um, we had live in a very marginal. I live in a very marginalized community where mm. we have a murder rate that's out of control. We have a suicide rate that's out of control. Um, and I'm trying to do something to make my community a better community and more accepted. So that's where all my energies are. Mm. This book is not about the Kardashians. It's not sure. about. It's not about any of that. It's not a tabloid book. It's not about politics. It's about my journey. Mm. And it's it's an extraordinary journey. That said, Caitlin, I mean, your your two birth children with Chris, um, Kylie and Kendall, are you are you talking to them? Oh, all the time, man. Yeah. So I everything's just talked cool. To Kendall there. a few minutes. Yeah, everything's fine there. Um, to be honest with you, with all my children, I have uh, six genetic children, and uh, yeah, my relationship with all my kids is good. Uh, going through this, I would say some have we have become much, much closer after everything I've been through over the last two years. And then there's some of them that maybe not as close. So every, you know, when you have this many kids, uh, every experience and every relationship is different. Is that hard? I mean, you know, with, with, with Kim saying that about your words, a very personal account, is that difficult for you to navigate through uh, her comments about you that you may not necessarily see, see as true? I love Kimberly. Um, we have well a answered. very good relationship. <laughs> she has been very good with me. Um, yeah, yeah. The That's Kardashians. The right there, <laughs> there is there is a lot of drama in the Kardashian family. You no. Know? So uh, yeah, I know that's shocking to everybody. <laughs> but I love all my children, including Kim. She's just she's been great. Good on um, you, Caitlin. One of the biggest revelations is in the book is that you can you've had gender reassignment surgery. Why did you decide to share that? Um, well, first of all, the book is about honesty, uh, number one. Um, uh, the media is fascinated by that story. 
Um, although within my community, it's, it's a non-issue. You are no more a woman the day before you have that surgery than you are the day after you have that surgery. And in, in my community, uh, most trans women do not have it done. Um, there's only, I think, about 30, 32 percent that actually go through final surgery. Um, and you can read in the book, because I talk about it in the book, the reasons why I would do that. But um, uh, it's also a very private thing. So, and for our community, um, it's not an appropriate question to ask somebody mm -hmm. who's trans, uh, kind of what their, you know, what their st status is and their situation is in that, in, in that department, but unless they're willing to share it to you. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so I, I do keep it, I had to be honest, but I do keep it very private. It's not something that I would want to talk about. Okay. okay. One final question, uh, and let me be completely rude, uh, and, as some of us oh, in Australia good. can. Um, <laughs> yes, good. Um, if you don't mind, um, have you been on any dates? Is there a special summer nah. meal? <laughs> Why I heard Richard was Richard available? <laughs> Richard is available. And That's right. Thank you. And you thank right you. Up, I need to make a trip. Yes. You oh, right he, up his alley. Yes. Yep. He comes to LA quite a bit as well, so things can oh, be sorted. Oh, really? Kate. There we go. Well, yeah. he knows Alan near Rob, and Richard and I maybe should go out. Okay. <laughs> yes, and we want to film the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Very good. Thank I you, can't Kayla. wait. He could be my first date. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, Kayla, thank you for being with us. Um, yeah. Having, uh, having had experience uh, with, with a number of people, and especially young people um, in their teens, even um, in the transgender community who, who are battling with all of this, you're a real inspiration. And we appreciate you being so candid and so honest with us today on The Today Show. I appreciate it. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Thanks, okay. Caitlin. And the book is called The Secrets of My Life by mm. Caitlin Jenner. It is a fascinating read. The next book, My Secrets of My Life with Richard. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a sequel that's we want to read. <laughs>